Hi there, Wayo Toastmaster members. This is your club sponsor and club mentor, Cassandra Diva of Dialogue Lead. I am coming before you right now in this video to share with you a mentor moment. I want to use divine inspiration vocally applied to share with you a topic that I have not yet had a chance to cover in our Whale Toastmaster meetings. You know how it is in the Wrightwood Ashburn Overcomers Whale Toastmaster Club, meaning we have so much fun, so many informational speeches and workshops and evaluations that we simply run out of time in order to be able to cover everything that we want to cover. Our club president, Valerie Lyons, asked me a few weeks ago if I would share with you how to keep track of your meeting roles using Basecamp. I thought, uh, I'll be able to fit it into a whale meeting. <laughs> Have I been pleasantly surprised? I haven't. Even today, when I thought I would be able to share it with you verbally, I was only limited to sharing it with you via the chat box. What I decided to do was to put together a quick video for you in order to let you know how you can keep track of every single meeting role you perform using your base camp. Let me start the presentation by sharing my screen. As I share my screen, I am going to take us to a website that we have all become familiar with, and that is the Toastmasters International website. Remember, I am talking about Basecamp here, which means I must be on the Toastmasters International website. If I was talking about signing up for a meeting role, that's when I would go to the Whale website. Yet this time, I'm talking about something associated with Pathways. Therefore, I must be on the Toastmasters International website for Pathways. When you get to the Toastmasters International website at www.toastmasters.org, you will need to log in as a member. You may have noticed I am already logged in and I know that because the message is reading, welcome Cassandra. <laughs> I say anytime you see the welcome phrase before your name, you have a thumbs up because you've successfully logged into the Toastmasters International website. All you have to do at this point is go to where it says welcome and your name click it and it will start the process of taking you into what I call the back office. This is the back office of the Toastmasters International website for your profile. Right now, the information, if I was to scroll below, would be information very specific to me as a member. I could find out information on when I became a member, how many awards and when did I earn those, what club officer or district leader roles I fulfilled. That's all below in my profile. I can even go in and edit my contact information, the privacy details. You'll notice that is listed as well. Since I'm not interested in doing any of that right now in this moment, I want to stay focused on my purpose of being here in the back office. My purpose of being in the back office right now is to go into Pathways and Basecamp in order to keep track of my meeting functionary roles. So let's do this. In your back office, just as in mine, you're going to notice a section for Based Camp, and it tells you, go to Base Camp, access your learning path and tutorials. Well, for my go to Base Camp, I have an additional feature. You'll notice it says log in as Base Camp Manager. Actually, that won't be on yours because you are not a Base Camp Manager. I'm the Vice President of Education. The Secretary, as well as the President, would see those features, yet if you're not a base camp manager, you don't have to worry about seeing that feature. So simply disregard that. You want to make certain that what you see in your go to base camp box is the fact that the club name is listed and the button go. Since I belong to only one club, the Wrightwood Ashburn Overcomers Whale Toastmasters Club, I'm only going to see that name of a club. However, for those of you who are dual members, and dual members have already figured this out, yet for dual members, you're going to notice 
a carrot, or as I call it, the drop-down arrow. The drop-down arrow would give you the ability to select the club in which you wanted to find out your base camp details for, then you would click go. In this instance, since I only belong to one club, I have the ability to simply click go and I will now be sent into my base camp. You will also have the ability of doing the same thing, clicking go, going into your base camp. You will know you're in base camp because guess what? You will receive another welcome message. And notice it says, Welcome to base camp, Cassandra. Yay, <laughs> I'm in the right place. In base camp, I get an opportunity to see details on my paths and learning with my education transcript. I can access speech evaluations. I can also use tutorials and resources. Psst, by the way, remember that how to evaluate online course I talked about a few weeks ago? I think I even sent you a special email on that. The tutorials and resources, yeah, that's where you'll find it. When you get a chance, go into that section for yourself, find that evaluation online course, take it and feel more comfortable doing speech evaluations. But I digress, so let me keep moving. <laughs> Here in Basecamp of your home page, or I should say on the home page of your Basecamp, you too will find a section called Paths and Learning. Your particular path will be listed. Mine is Innovative Planning. However, yours might be Visionary Communication, Dynamic Leadership, Team Collaboration, Motivational Strategies, Presentation, mastery <laughs> or any of the 11 paths that are offered. Mine just happened to be innovative planning plus I have a few other programs I'm in like the Pathways Mentor Program therefore I see all of that curriculum right here in a quick box for me to access. I would also see any suggested learning if needed and when I look over on the right side, I see my feedback, my badges, my documents, and the video for Let's Visit the Basecamp homepage. <sighs> Lots of information, yet that is not why I am here. <laughs> Let me get focused and again, take you to where I really want you to go. Remember, we must be inside of Basecamp in order to find the section where we can keep track of our meeting functionary roles. You want to look for the, the feature that says my account. Now, did we happen to see my account in anything that I've showed you so far? No, which means there's some other place where we must go. Here is the secret of how you find my account. What you will do up top along the, I should say the title area of your Basecamp homepage. You'll notice where the logo of Toastmasters Pathways Learning Experience is listed to the far right is a search bar, an icon, and a gear. The icon may have your picture in it, if you have a profile picture updated. Yet to the right of the profile is going to be a gear, and the gear just simply looks like a circle with spikes on it. In that gear, there are two features for you. The My Account feature is there as well as logging out. Keep in mind, anytime you're going to log out of Basecamp, you want the gear in order to get that log out feature. Yet we don't want to log out. What we want to do is get to my account. Again, moving your cursor over the gear will give you the option of clicking my account. As I click my account, I am now taken to a page that starts off saying preferences. It shows my name, my home club, and since I am a club officer this year, it shows the officer role in which I hold, the vice president of education. As I scroll down on the page, I see the correct time zone for my profile, and then I start to see the meeting functionary roles. Score! This is the right place. What you will notice with my profile right now, my meeting functionary roles are mostly filled in, meaning Next to each of those roles, from eye counter on down to topics master, you will notice I have dates in the majority of my boxes. 
The only box I have empty is I counter. And hey, that means I forgot to come in and update my profile with my meeting functionary role. You see, I served as I counter at the last whale meeting. What I get an opportunity to do right now is to make certain that I can go into where it says select a date and I can click that or I could have just simply clicked the icon of the calendar. Yet the idea is I could click that, the calendar opens, I can go in and select August 8th and now that date is in for a counter. Score! Yes. Now, I can't get too happy because I haven't yet saved that information. So let me make certain that I go to the bottom right hand side of my screen, click the blue button that says save, save, and once it is officially saved, I will get a notification as you will, and now you see it says you have saved your changes. Great. I can either close or I can go to the home page. Right now I want to close. I want to close because I just remembered at today's WAO meeting, I served in a functionary role as well. Right now, you're going to notice I've been keeping track of all of my meeting functionary roles from as far back as April of last year, and truth be told, a little bit further than that. However, what you're about to notice in a moment is why you notice dates for me from August, or I shouldn't say August, I'm actually looking at my furthest date is Toastmaster of December 28, 2019. Yet again, still a little bit further than that. However, I digress. Here's the key. I've been keeping track of all the meeting functionary roles I've been performing for about a year now. I come in here, make certain I keep track of the dates, which means I must update a role in which I served. Oh, I see it's there. I did it. I did save my date for speech evaluator. Okay. A mind is a terrible thing to waste, isn't it? <laughs> so here's the idea. When I served as speech evaluator a few months ago, the last time I served as speech evaluator was actually May of, la of this year, May 12th, I believe it was, of last year. And actually, I can go in. I can see when that was. It was May 9th. So at our May 9th meeting, I was speech evaluator. I didn't do speech evaluator again until today, August 22nd. Notice that once, and I can show it to you, I can put that date back in. Yet since I want to make sure I can keep track of my August date, I'll go into the calendar again, select August 22nd. Notice that August 22nd overrides May 9th. That's the one thing about the feature of this program, and that is it does not record every single date for you. What it does, it will keep track of the most current date for you. Therefore, you want to make certain, you, if you want to know all of the dates in which you served as that functionary role, you keep track of that information in another place for yourself, or you even use the free Toast host agenda to keep track of those details too. Yet those additional ways to keep track of your profile information can be discussed at a later time. In this moment, as I stated, I wanted to make certain that I showed you the feature where you could keep track of your meeting functionary roles. I've saved our counter for August 8th. That's now updated, and I have my updated speech evaluator role listed. And then once again, I want to click the blue save button to make certain that my profile is updated. Great. I can now click and I can go back to home. The home page just simply takes me back to the Basecamp home page where I could then go over to the gear and log out. Once you log out of your Toastmasters base camp, you'll be taken back to the Toastmasters page. And from there, you could go wherever else you want to go. Yet that's it. 
UAO members, you now have an idea of how to use your own base camp in keeping track of all of the meeting functionary roles. You may have noticed, as some would say, I'm an overachiever. Yes, I'm an overcomer. I'm also an overachiever. I have now completed all of the functionary roles. Yay! But it's time to start over. <laughs> You may have noticed I had dates for all of the functionary roles listed. You more than likely will set a goal for yourself to do the same. I want all of my dates to be within a three-month time frame. Therefore, when I'm looking to fulfill meeting agenda roles, I'll be looking to see what role has a six-month or an eight-month date next to it that needs to be more current. I can then go into my profile. I can look at that information, and then I can go to the Whale website and sign up for a more current role. You can do the same. And the idea is it's easy to keep track of it. It's a matter of just simply remembering where to go to find the information. Should you ever want to find that information and you're struggling with getting to it quickly, reach out to me, your Vice President of Education, and I'll be more than welcome, or I'll be more than happy, I should say, to walk you into that place. If by chance your coach knows that information, they can also be helpful in navigating you to where you must go for keeping track of those details. Yeah, as I said, you want to know what you've been doing at each of the whale meetings. And especially for those of you who belong to a dual club or you're visiting other clubs, keep track of those functionary roles you perform. Go into your base camp, go into your account, Make certain you add in those appropriate dates and click save, and you'll have a running list of how active you are being within your Toastmaster membership. Well, everyone, that does it. I give it a round of applause and a whoop whoop because there's another mentor moment for you all finished and ready for you to review at any time you need assistance. I'm Cassandra, Diva of Dialogue Lee. Happy to have done this presentation using divine inspiration vocally applied. Wayo members, until next time, keep in mind there's no stopping us and we are overcomers. Take care. <laughs>